Hello dear students, I am Dr. Sangram Patil. So today I am starting a new series to crack the first round of MNC where MNC is asking for MCQs on C programming. It is not means I am considering examples of C programming but it may possible that company like Capgemini or LNT Infotech, they ask you questions on a pseudo code. They are similar to C programming. The only name is given is they are asking on a pseudo code. And in the first part, I am trying to cover the questions related to input and output statement. Now you have to remember this input and output. This is a small topic, but when we go to the control statement or looping part, this input and output will be helpful. So this is I have I am starting with the simple topic that is a part one input and output statement. Now consider this output statement. Already we know this printf is used to display the information. Whatever information present in double quotes, your compiler will display that information as it is on a screen. So this will display welcome. Okay. But consider this example. In exam, may they may ask you question like this. So the first statement, the first statement, this statement indicates you want to print A B C on a screen. Okay. Now next statement indicates you want to print E F G on a screen. But there is no slash n, so these two outputs will be appear on a same line like a b c e f and g now next line indicates you want to print 1 2 3 but here we have backslash b so whatever output this output is currently present okay so this output it cancels it it cancels this last character because of slash b it cancels this last character and your output will become now a b c e f because of this backslash and then it will add 1 2 3 on a screen so back backslash b it cancels the last character which is there on your output screen and then it will display a b c f a b c e f and then it will add 1 2 3 now next line, in next line we have used backslash r. So this indicates go to the first character of the output. So this is the first character of the output and it starts overwriting this. So a will be replaced by x, b will be replaced by y and c will be replaced with z. And then next characters remain as it is e, f, 1, 2, so our output will be x y z e f 1 2 3 backspace it will remove our last character and then it starts printing backslash r it will move to the first character of the first line first column not same line first column and then it starts overwriting the data it may possible that in some example they may give backslash a somewhere somewhere it may be backslash a but backslash a it is used for the beep but this won't affect your output it just give a beep if your mic is connected then it gives a beep sound nothing else hope this this will clear your doubt regarding backslash b and backslash r now it may possible that in exam they will ask you a question like this this already we have done okay it just <coughs> print the information like welcome but now printf within a printf this printf is present within a this printf now what it indicates so we will consider here backslash n okay. okay so this indicates you want to print one integer number now which integer number generally we may mention here like our printf statement generally we write it like this printf percentage d 
we want to print win one integer number which integer number you can mention here suppose variable n1 is our integer variable so this indicates you want to print one integer number which is present in n1 but now this is not any variable this is your printf statement so generally printf statement it displays the information so it will display you first welcome okay and printf statement always returns one number which indicates how many characters are printed on a screen so here this is 1 2 3 blank space is 4 5 6 7 8 so it will display welcome on a screen and this will return value 8 and this 8 is printed with this so it will go to the next line and then it will print 8 because here I have added slash n. so printf statement it displays the information <coughs> and it will return one number which indicates how many characters are printed on a screen now if your statement is like this suppose okay printf slash n percentage d comma printf slash n abc bracket bracket close semicolon so this indicate first of all go to the next line and then print abc so it will print abc and this will return now 4 though these three characters are printed this slash n is considered as a one more character so this will return 4 and this indicates go to the next line and then print a character print the number so remember this slash n slash t they are considered as a single character so this will print abc but it will return 4 because of slash n so one character with slash n then a b and c like this it will return 4 and this printf will return 4 this is just to indicate that we can use printf statement within a printf statement now already we are familiar with scanf statement this indicates we want to read one integer number scanf statement is to read the data so this indicates we want to read one integer number and whatever data you have inputted that is given to n1 so if we input 26 n1 will become 26 now next printf percentage d scan f percentage d ampersand one so again this indicates you want to print one number which number but here we don't have any number we have scan f statement so scan f statement again returns one number which indicates how many proper values are taken from a keyboard so when scan f statement is executed this scan f statement will give you blinking cursor on a screen like this blinking cursor and you have to input one number if you input 26 and if you enter key then this n1 it takes 26 value and this scan f statement will return one and that one is printed by this percentage d so this will print one so scan f statement it always returns one number which indicates how many proper values are taken from a keyboard and that we can do combination with the printf statement question may be like this n1 is equal to scan f percentage ampers n1 what will be the output of following statement following program if we input value 26 i am taking 26 just for example it may be anything so first of all this statement is, will be executed so scan f statement will be blink, uh, gives you blinking cursor if you input 26 and if you press enter key n1 will be assigned value as a 26 because of this scanf part and this scanf statement will return one number that is one because one value is properly taken from a keyboard and that value will give a given to n1 so 26 will be cancelled and value of n1 will be now one and this printf statement will return now will print now one remember this though we have inputted value 26 initially that 26 value will be given to n1 but scanf state will return one number that is given to again n1 scanf returns here one value one because one number is taken from a keyboard and now value of n1 is one so this will print one now here again scanf statement percentage d percentage d n1 comma n2 connected with printf statement so first of all it will execute scanf statement 
it will give you blinking cursor but here remember this if we input value as 26 enter key 13 enter key or if we input value as 26 blank space 13 enter key then no problem in this case value of n1 will be considered as a 26 value of n2 will be considered as a 13 and this can have statement now in this case it will return 2 and this printf statement will print 2 no problem but check the question what that question is indicating if we input value like 26 comma 13 and if we press enter key then my dear student this 26 is taken as a n1 and because of this comma it won't take value for n2 and proper value taken from keyboard is only one so this can have statement now in this case this will return one and this printf statement will now print one remember this because of this comma when two percentage they are continuous we have to input values like this first value enter key second value or we have to enter values like this first value blank space second value you cannot give comma it will take wrong output or if you input values like a b c blank space x y z no value is properly input taken from a keyboard so this can have statement will return zero and this will return this will print zero remember this and in this case in this first case in the second case n2 will be taken as a zero and in this case n1 will be taken as a zero and n2 will be taken as a zero because no proper value is taken from a keyboard we have inputted character value instead of numeric value remember this now this already we know we have declared variable integer n1 whose value we have given as a 12 n2 value we have given as a 13 and then print f percentage d percentage d this first percentage d indicates you want to print one number which number the number which is present in n1 this percentage d indicates we want to print the number in n2 so this will print you this will give you 12 and 13 with one is blank space in between this is simple but if your question is like this integer n1 equal to 12 and n2 equal to 13 and if we have given only percentage d percentage d and we have not mentioned whose value to print okay so here this indicates print one number this indicates print second number but we have not mentioned anything so first of all this will print value of n2 and this will print value of n1 because when your variables are declared it considers this into the stack so it will consider variable n1 and it will consider here variable n2 and when we have not mentioned any variable it will take value of n2 first for this percentage d and then it will take value of n1 for this percentage d so output will be 13 and 12 don't mention that it will print garbage value generally we mention this as a garbage value don't don't consider that it will print the values because two values are present on a stack now if you have given this like percentage d percentage d percentage d three percentage d are given but on stack we have only two values so this will print value of n2 that is 13 this will print value of n1 as 12 and for this percentage d we don't have anything on a stack in this case it will print some garbage value no problem but if value is present on a stack it will take from a stack remember this it won't give you two garbage values it will give you output as a 13 and 12 it won't give you value of n1 and n2 means first n1 and then n2 it will take n2 first and then n1 because it takes from a stack now here this is also very simple this example float answer equal to 12.13 and then print f percentage f answer it will give you output as 12.13 it gives you six characters after a decimal point no problem but if you mention it like this float answer equal to 12.13 integer answer a n equal to answer print f percentage of answer print f percentage the answer so here in this case it will declare one variable answer as a float to this it will give value as a 12.13 then it will declare one variable an 
and to this it will assign this float value 12.13 it will take only integer part so this will print 12.13 and this will print 12 no problem this this is easy to understand but they won't give you question like this they will give you a question like this okay so here this first part printf slash n go to the next line print one float value which float value the float value present in answer so it will check type of answer is float so this will give you no problem it will give you like this something like this no problem but here slash n go to the next line and percentage d print one number which number the number which is present in answer but answer type is float and we want to print percentage d so this will print zero remember this it won't print 12 in previous example we have written statement like this answer equal to an equal to answer so it is giving value 12 to an no problem because an is declared as an integer so it works but in this case this indicates you want to print one integer number which integer number that is the number which is present in this variable but this variable is type float which is not matching so it won't give you 12 it will give you 0 remember this this is very important okay generally they gives you like this sorry percentage f percentage d and then answer comma answer so it will give you 12.13000 and then 0 remember this okay so this is about input and output statement if you have liked this video then please press on like button and subscribe my channel because every week i will upload one video which will help you to clear first round of mnc to get a good job so please subscribe my channel and like my video thank you thank you very much and in next week i will upload the video related to unary operators and binary operators you may get more questions on this thank you thank you very much